Nathan Cox, thanks for joining us around the home. Okay, today, <laughs> that was a funny intro. Okay, I'm, I'm being dumb. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to maintain your Ego chainsaw. So let's make this simple, let's go straight on over to it. This is Ego's 14 inch chainsaw, and I've had this for a few years, okay? So it's been out, and I have an older video where I showed you guys how to maintain it, and it really needed to be redone. So here we are, okay? First of all, let's take that battery out, because we don't want to accidentally fire this up and have that chain wreak havoc on us, okay? All right, now when it comes to maintenance and uh, a chainsaw, there's kind of two things you need to know about. It's kind of like the chain itself and the lubrication point, okay? So right here is where you put the bar oil. So you would normally just tip this up, open it up, okay? There is an O-ring up inside here, and sometimes that sticks up here. So make sure that O-ring stays up in place where it's at. Now this here does have, oops, except that it pops off, Okay, a little filter thing. There we go. All right, this helps to keep sawdust and stuff getting down in there and clogging the oiling ports, okay? So it's actually good to keep it down in here. It does make it pour a little slower, but it's, it, it does its job. Now if you get junk in there, pull it out so you can clean it out and then put it back, okay? So how much do you put in? Well, it's probably generally good just to fill it on up, okay? So get yourself a little funnel. I won't do it here because I think you get the idea. You just put the oil in the hole, okay? And when it, when it starts filling up and you know, you're like, okay, it's not, you know, it's not going down anymore, then you're done. And there's a little window right here. So if you want to put the cap back on, doo -doo 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 -doo. carefully not to strip, you know, cross thread it. And you'll see there's a window there and you'll be able to see how much oil is in there. That's really more for when you're using it. So you can like look and like, oh, I'm halfway down. It's tempting me, you know, keep an eye on it. Okay, I'm a quarter, you know, I only got a quarter left. Let's fill this puppy back up. Okay, so if it gets down to around a quarter or a third and you still got work to do, take time and refill it. Okay, but typically once you, you, you like lay it like this, you fill it up, you're gonna know, okay, it's full, no more is going in. Now people ask me, what kind of bar oil do you use? Do you have to use special ego Bar oil, no. No, you can just use, th this is Husqvarna, because I also have a Husqvarna chainsaw, okay? Um, you can also buy some generic brands, like, you know, Lowe's has, I forget what it is, doesn't matter, it comes in a black, black, you know, tub like this. Uh, most of them come in like gallon things, I think you can also buy quartz. Um, now, in some places of the country, where the weather is more extreme, there is a summer and a winter version. Obviously, the winter version is thinner because it gets so cold that this is, you know, thicker than molasses. Um, now I'm down here in South Missouri and I don't think they really have that down here. I've always just seen one bar of oil, but just check with your local supplier. When you go in the store and be like, hey, you know, do I need a special winter version? Is it that cold around here? Oh, and then I always, now you don't have to do this, but I empty my chainsaw because uh, I don't use my chainsaw. I'll use it like through the summer a little bit, but then when I, when I put it up, I, I empty it out because I don't want this thing oozing because it can ooze over time. It just kind of like slowly leak out. So I just put a funnel back in here, take this off and, and just dump it back out. That's, I mean, that's really, that's all there is to it. You just, there's just a reservoir there. It's not, it's not magic. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the chain, which is very important to talk about because obviously this is doing all the cutting, right? Okay, now you might be asking, how do you sharpen the chain? There'll be a separate video popping up top right corner of your screen for that, okay? I show you how you can easily do it with just a small stone, um, a little grinding stone in your drill. And, and you can really do a pretty good job by yourself. You can always take your chainsaw into a, a local shop and have them sharpen it there too, you know? So either way. The first important thing you should be doing about the chain is you make sure it has the right tension, okay? So on this eagle here, everything is, this whole setup is toolless. It's kind of nice. You got this really big roller here, lefty loosey, righty tighty, just, just a regular screw, and it loosens it up. You, you don't want to like take it off. Well, we will take it off in a second here, but we don't want to take it off right here. Just loosen it up, okay? Then you can take this and this adjuster right here. All right, so I'm going that way and I'm loosening it up. See, very loose. And see, if your chain gets loose, I remember I had a friend and we were cutting down a bunch of stuff for a job and he kept stopping and sharpening his chain. I'm like, dude, you didn't hit anything. Why are you sharpening it? He said, it won't cut, it won't cut. Uh, I, went, I checked it and it was loose. And so when it's loose like this, the chain will actually kind of roll out of the bar and then it won't cut, okay? So you gotta have the right tension, okay? So that is obviously way too loose. On this little guy right here, I find that you can basically just about 
you know, without going crazy, with one finger, if you can kind of snug it up and about stop, you can lift it up just a little bit like that. There you go, you know. You don't want to crank it super tight to be like, well, I want it really tight so it never... No, no, no. It's got to have a little bit of flex there um, or you're just going to like prematurely stretch out your chain and cause extra wear and tear on, on a motor. So it's got to have a little bit of flex, okay? And then you tighten it up. Okay, you want to make sure that's pretty decently tight. Obviously, that's made to do by hand. It's made out of plastic, so don't go roiding out crazy on it, okay? It needs to be tight, but don't go crazy. Okay, so we talked about the oil. We talked about the blade. Now, what about back here in this special secret chamber? Because some people ask me questions about, like, well, where does the oil come out? How does it come out? Um, do I got to do something special for that? I don't think mine's oiling right. Well, it needs a little bit of runtime for it to start oiling, okay? And... So we also gotta make sure it's not clogged. But for those of you who are like wondering, well, how does that work? It's, it's actually, it's an ingenious old, old design that was, I don't know how old, like it's basically probably as old as chainsaws. There's just a little, little screw gear, okay? All right, so it runs, it's attached to the main drive here, and so it slowly feeds out the oil from the reservoir on this side over out the little steep hole, okay? So the faster you run the chainsaw, the more oil it gives. It seems to make sense. So it kind of matches the speed with the chain. I mean, that's, it's really super simple and ingenious at the same time. So if you just unscrew that all the way, you see this is dirty, and it definitely does not hurt to take some paper towels and wipe that out. You can take an air compressor with a little air gun and blow it out. That's good too. Okay, now let's go ahead, and so we, we have to be able to put this together again, and you can't put it together when it's tight. So you need to loosen it up a little bit here, okay? And you can see here, it is, it's not bad. I try to keep my stuff fairly clean. But now you can move that up and down a little bit and we'll just take this off. So there's a the chain and the bar, okay? I will have Amazon links in the description down below for some of the stuff that we're doing here. The, the chainsaw, the new, new uh, chain and bar and stuff like that. Uh, when I find quality links, I'll put them down there. I only, I only use quality links and we are an Amazon affiliate. So if you use those links, help support the channel. So please click away. Anyways, back over here. All right, so this right here is obviously the bolt that the main screw thing was on. Okay, this little shaft right here underneath the bolt goes through the hole on the bar, and that's what's actually moving it forward and back when you're sitting there screwing this thing. Okay, so you watch. I don't know if you can see it move, but I'm, I'm actually moving this thing, okay, back and forth when I turn this. Um, there's also hard to see because there's sawdust in there, but there's a little straight screwdriver slot right here. So you can also do it with a screwdriver because that's how traditionally chainsaws do it is you have a little screwdriver up here, okay? But this one added this little hand thing here. So you could, it's like toolless if you want it to be. Okay, and if you can see it or not, right here there's a little slot, okay? And there's a little hole right about there, okay? Zoomed in a little bit for you guys. And that's where the oil seeps out from. And it just drips on the side of the bar against the chain. And the chain just kind of grabs it. It's uh, sloppy, but effective. It works. You don't, really don't have to worry about it. As long as this is not gunked up over here, we're good to go. We're just going to put this thing back together. Okay? So, I'm grab our bar. Kind of get try to get the chain back on a little bit. So, I'm slip the chain over the gear. The bar in place, we're gonna find that little notch. There we go. Let's make sure the chain is in the groove. Throwing off my groove, man. Okay. I think I kept a pretty good camera angle this whole time. Oops, it helps if we do that the right way. All right, don't make it tight yet. All right, let's take the chain and roll it. Make sure it's in the groove and everything's working. Okay, then we're gonna almost snug it up. But now we're gonna tighten the chain again. And we're done. We did a whole bunch of maintenance right there. So I hope that gives you guys information you were looking for. I really do. Uh, please share this video. Always helps out and always helps to, to, to share it with somebody else so they can learn. Please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for notifications. We're always putting out new content. Check out our website. Hundreds more videos organized really, really well. And there's another video for you guys to check out. 
You guys have a great one.